Hope this is Vivica Williams and you're watching Head to Head. Today we're talking about the space industry in Ukraine. And after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Ukraine inherited the better part of the Soviet space industry, including research institutes, industrial associations, and testing centers. Now Ukraine intends to build a spaceport on its territory. To talk more about the future of Ukraine's space industry, we're joined in the studio today by Valentin Gadanov, advisor to Space Logistics Ukraine. Valentin, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Vivica. Right. So, uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the company. Now, it actually is a private company that's hoping to have some legislation change so that uh, private companies can engage in the space industry. That's right. right. This is the, exactly the, the meaning. Uh, because we are uh, lobby interests of uh, private companies, which is uh, uh, very important because they can um, uh, have their activity uh, in this field. Uh, because for a moment it's uh, uh, forbidden by law. So this is a, a big problem since the space is so close uh, under um, state control, so it's very difficult. But we must uh, go over it to start uh, uh, developing or optimizing or modernizing uh, space industry in Ukraine because it uh, traditionally has uh, space in infrastructure uh, since the Soviet Union, but it needs uh, to be renewed as, as fast as possible because the technologies in the world, especially in cosmonautics, and uh, uh, they, they are changing very fast. So uh, in a few years, it's going to be new technology which is ruling in the world in space. It's like uh, uh, I mean, technology. It's the future. It's yeah, the, yeah, the, the Elon next Musk, thing. You know, right. It's the same. Exactly. Uh, it's all new. It's going to be all new. So with all the infrastructure, it's going to be very difficult Absolutely. to catch up. And to the countries who is uh, having these technologies, space and, technologies. And also we see that, especially with uh, the U.S. and NASA and their budget cuts, and it makes it difficult for them to really pursue. And that's where the private companies have stepped in there and really made it where even NASA uses their launch facilities sometimes to use up, put up satellites. And so we see what private industry privatization really makes things work very well. Often. Exactly. This is in the example, American example, for example, or Chinese now. Uh, since uh, 2017, 1st of January, uh, China also open. Uh, it means uh, take off licenses for people. You know, it's easy now to to make startup in China in, in space industry and try to develop it. So this is the way for development is give Absolutely. freedom for people, and it's also a good uh, point in it so that. Um, the taxes, the money right. of taxpayers are not used. So there is not going to be... Uh, it frees up this funds for exactly, other things. Exactly. exactly, because this is a private uh, uh, sector who step in with, with their own money. So it's it won't... Uh, and, and it also doesn't it affects not just... You no, know, it's not just about building the space industry. What comes along with that is also building things like infrastructure, exactly. jobs to... Exactly. You know? So it's like uh, you have to invite uh, uh, other industries to help to, to, to achieve this goal. Uh, to, uh, for example, to build a space drone. Of course, we would need a building uh, industry or Roads, infrastructure, infra like you say. You know, it's everything. And also the, the, the space drone itself, it's like a beginning point to... Uh, development because it's give to many many uh, levels uh, possibility to use it like uh, for science for uh, uh, military for uh, when well, that's what we saw with in the, in the heydays of nasa when they were being developed all of this uh technology that comes out that we see in everyday lives velcro different ways of storing foods so it's definitely necessary and now i talked recently with an expert about uh, who's a business investor and saying that this new field a uh, lots of interest in space development in ukraine so how likely do you see legislation changing especially since the government has really been a Focusing on privatization. Um, well, what we do, it's uh, trying to uh, ring the bell in media because you know when people don't do not know about this, it's uh, it's go very slow because we need uh, uh, very uh, big media support. Uh, so talk, people talk about this. Absolutely. Yeah. So they being educated why we need this, what kind of uh, and goods we got from this, and all this we we start. Um, a tour over the country with all these uh, elections. I'm reading elections in astrophysics and uh, in astronomy, popularizing, and in fact also providing this information about new companies who would like to actively 
uh, build the, the space, space drone. And, and this is what, where it comes in with Ukraine Logistics Company, uh, or Ukraine, uh, Space Logistics Ukraine Company, yes. doing a, a tour and starting this idea called uh, Space Ukraine, right? Yes. And this is part of this is not so much promoting the company no. because it's about promoting the idea of Ukraine being exactly uh, in a space, space uh, country exactly and, and yeah you know the, as you see Dmitry was a very young person and uh, and this is Dmitry Lehiza the Le uh, yes. the uh, founder of the company yes that that shows up. Uh, that this country has a uh, human resource, that it's still there is um, uh, young people who would like to uh, build uh, and see their country in a, in a greater position, you see. So that's why those uh, young people start to come in and, and say about themselves. It's like a new generation comes up, you know, all this Soviet is, is going to go away very quickly. And so also changing focus, because we see as the world changes, um, maybe IT, the other places catch up. Ukraine has this huge intellectual capacity. Uh, uh, Exactly. And it Been needs saying to be this put all the time. Into, yeah. Intellectual capacity, it means human resource. This is the most important because uh, by having money is not enough. You have to have people. Uh, also good for, from economical side. Uh, you can create many uh, working places. You can prevent uh, young, smart people leave the country. And this, this is, is one of the biggest Ukraine, right? issue, mm -hmm. actually, which is helps to do this if we initiate. If you have something new exactly. that, that is engaging as You have well. to give to people first. You have to give to young people first before they decide to leave the country, you know, uh, uh, because um, uh, uh, such countries like America or China right now, they're collecting brains and we are losing brains. So this is, has to change and oh, we, with such projects, it will just help to uh, keep young people here or organize uh, education. Uh, for example, astrophysics uh, cathedras more and, you know, to make it really start to be a uh, space state, you see. And let's talk specifically about the spaceport. So tell me a little bit about the idea, the plan and the, and the realistic uh, aspects. Of it. All right. So, of course, uh, before you want to build something, you have to make calculations what you're going to build, how big you have to build, yeah, what, what kind of uh, um, building you have to build. So you have to make calculations first. So this is what we are proposing. Uh, we're proposing uh, to find out uh, where we can build spaceport in Ukraine. For that, you have to have a lot of work, like uh, checking all infrastructural uh, or juridistics uh, nuances, like uh, uh, all territories you have mm -hmm. to uh, check, you see. And uh, we also have already, what we see the Dnipro area, this is a lot of infrastructure that's there. Yes, but um, we think more, which is will be closer to equatorial Black Sea. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, for the uh, rockets, you know, Returning. we don't have a, a Elon Musk technology, so it's going, they're going to fall out somewhere right, in, right. in the ocean. And so uh, to build spaceport for uh, light class rockets, it is possible because uh, if it's uh, one or two or three, uh, uh, how do you say, call this? Um, uh, the uh, the models, you know, when they when they coming back, it's of course three models. It's much more complicated, yeah, mm -hmm. than one. Uh -huh. So the light class Has only, uh, is more uh, like economically. One, mm -hmm. uh, uh, more favorable. Why? Because they are smaller, they cost cheaper, but they have also possibility to put uh, necessary equipment on orbits. Right, right. Even the, the uh, rockets of the uh, light class. So this is our prime uh, aim to to build this spaceport. First of all, for the uh, because it's possible. Right, it, right. Territorial, you know. Right. Now, uh, and do in you the see future, maybe we will build another one, which is uh, for you know when we're going to have this technology to. Uh, to coming back, but and, and speaking about that now, as relations between the U.S. and Russia worsen, uh, it looks like it will probably, it may be in the future that the U.S., which now uses uh, Russia and Kazakhstan to send up uh, astronauts oh, it's to the space be station. Very uh, close. Uh, right. This looks like then uh -huh. Ukraine could be a place that the U.S. would want to do some investment in exactly. uh, helping facilitate the space sector exactly. here. I'm staying uh, in contact with a uh, big person in NASA, which is uh, supporting such ideas. So uh, when we're going to start this uh, project officially, I hope that, that we, we're going to receive uh, support from NASA also, because this is um, good for them too. It's uh, infrastructure which is uh, maybe can be used by NASA also. So 
uh, in different parts of the world. So we, we, level of cooperation, of course, going to rise if you will have a space drone because European countries will also maybe talk to us and, uh, and I'm sure about it because... Uh, well, the cost uh, yeah. will be, of course, cheaper here in Ukraine. The, exactly. the labor cost as well, uh, even if people, you know, people will be well paid, but regardless, yes. uh, it will be such a, a better economical location. Exactly. Like, like Elon Musk building spaceport, you know, private, mm -hmm. close to his company in California, right. and it's cost only $150 million. So, you know, uh, we're trying to break this uh, uh, old opinions about that uh, if you want to build spaceport, it's extremely expensive. It costs billions or trillions of dollars. It's not like that in the modern world. So we have to inform people about it. They don't afraid to do that. You know, I'm asking people, what do you think, how much one kilo of... Uh, uh, to, to put out in space, you know, mm. they say, oh, millions of dollars, but it's not like that. You see, everything Things is changed, everything so is getting much. cheaper. Exactly. So we have to tell this to people that they see uh, why is it important, why is it economically good to build this for, because for privatization ourselves. does, it, it decreases exactly. cost, it increases innovation, uh, because this is often what happens when it comes to exactly. privatization. And now, uh, just to, to end, what are some takeaways, what are some next steps or ideas that you think would be most important for our viewers? The number know? one uh, battle in front of us is to change uh, uh, law of... Uh, uh, in, in space industry, because to, to take all these limitations to for people, you know, for licensing, for example, uh, give them access like the United States or China did. For uh, that's why they have such a big development. And by the way, China has since two years they allowed them to mm -hmm. to private companies to be in the space industry. They have already three private companies uh, which is, has a billions of dollars per year. So that means they have a possibility, they start to put the private people, they have the same techno billionaires now in China is the same as the United States. So it would be good to do the same here. I'm, uh, I'm sure that a lot of people who has uh, money and want to invest it, uh, you know, to be in the history, to be uh, written in the uh, channels of, of its own people, you know, it's, it's very good. Uh, so I think it's going to be also enthusiasm a big one, you know, Absolutely. because from beginning we, we must do it and uh, we're full of energy, so... Uh, well, we're Ukraine and Ukrainians are definitely some of the most innovative and hardworking intellectuals in the world. Exactly. We have they to have, take advantage of this gap. They have a, a big concentration of people with the high uh, education in Ukraine, more than in Russia, for example, and that's true. Thank you so much for Thank being you, with Vika. us today. Very, uh, we very look much. forward Thank to you. seeing the developments in the in the space industry here. In Thank you. And that was Valentin Gadanov, advisor to Space Logistics Ukraine. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned with UATV for more.